Okay, I'm sorry in advance if it's kind of echoey, but I'm in the bathroom. My phone is set up in the bathtub, and we are fixing to rehouse Ursula. The reason that we're in the bathtub and like for this awkward angle is because I set it up as best I could to go live and do this so that y'all could see. Um, so in just a second, I'm going to turn the phone so that y'all can see what I'm doing, but we have to give her a new home. So we're fixing to get started doing that. I have, I think everything that I need, um, got my hair up out of the way, have the shower curtain out of the way. Um, I have a plug in the drain in the bathtub. This is all like in case she decides to run, she's in a more controlled environment where I have a better chance of getting a hold of her. Okay, so that's why we're coming live from the bathtub. I have two different size catch cups. This one is actually a little bit too big for her current enclosure that she's in now, but if she does get out into the tub, this one I'll use to catch her with. This little cup right here, thankfully, I had just laying around, so this is her catch cup we're going to get her with. I'm not going to hold her. She is a bitch, so yeah, there goes that. And then I also have my makeup brush and my tweezers. So, let's get this show on the road. Let's hope that this all goes smoothly because if I'm being completely 100% honest, she kind of scares me. She's kind of mean. So, that being said, I'm not going to try to hold her for y'all. Sorry, I don't really recommend that anyway, but I'm not going to try to hold her for y'all because she is mean. All right? A hubby is on the other side of the house. Um, he said he would listen for me um, to scream if I absolutely needed help, but he asked me to please not need his help. So, <laughs> that's where I am with where hubby is. So, whenever I turn the phone to where y'all can see this, I will try to keep an eye on comments, but I won't be able to see them that well. But I'm fixing to turn the phone so that y'all can see. Okay. So. Get it to where it'll stay. Turn the whole damn thing if I have to. There we go. Okay, so this is the new this is the new enclosure. This is where she's gonna be going. This, in comparison, like so y'all can see, like this is what she's in right now. Ideally, I didn't want to immediately upgrade her to something this big. I got this because it came with a divider and I could have like sectioned it off and like grown it as she grew but the divider had a gap of about a centimeter or so so I didn't feel comfortable with that gap between the divider and the top of this is the top between the divider and the top so I figured what the hell we'll just go ahead and give her a nice big home because she grows freaking fast anyway. So, here we go. I'm trying to see if there's something I can set her up on. Here. This is my pitcher that I use when I give Turtle a bath. So, that seems pretty stable. Can you guys see her better? Okay. We're going to open it up. She is currently pissed off and down in that egg. That is where she is right this moment. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get the cup ready to put over her. And I'm going to try and get her to just kind of run under it first. If she doesn't, then we'll get the egg out. All right, I'm not talking a whole lot because I'm trying to concentrate. I don't really see her. Potential spam. Go away. I ain't got time for that right now. Come on, Ursula. She is mad, y'all. She is like, whoo, she mad. Come on. All right, I'm 
I'm trying to cup over her without hurting her. Yeah, she is like kicking hella hair. She is so mad. Okay, now she's safely under the cup. And so while she is safely under the cup, I'm fixing to take this other stuff out. I'm going to take this out of the way. Get her egg out of the way. This big clump of moss out of the way. Okay, so I'm just trying to get everything out of the way so that I can get something underneath her. And I'm going to pick her up and show her to y'all. Like, pick her up in the catch cup to show her to y'all. So this is just a piece of cardboard that I obviously cut out of a case of Dr. Pepper. So we're going to kind of move her. See how she's kicking? I don't know if y'all can see. Oh, this is a little bit too big. Damn it. I put her back in the hole. Shit. Can y'all see her? She is scrunched up. She is kicking the hell out of some hairs. I know this glass isn't smooth, so y'all may not be able to see her like really, really, really well. But that is my Ursula. Y'all can see her kicking those hairs. She is like some kind of pissed. Okay, now I'm gonna hold her real carefully with this hand. Okay, move this out of the way. Move the old house out of the way. Move this out of the way. Okay. This is the new house. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set her down. Alright, I have my paintbrush ready in case she tries to bolt around any of the edges. I'll just kind of knock her back down so that she stays in here. We're going to lift this up. Nice and slow. Okay. Now we're going to see if we can't like motion her to the log or something and get her off of this. Get her off this piece of cardboard. Come on. Come on. And there y'all have it. She is in her new home. She is in her new home. Look at how little she looks in there. She is absolutely precious. I love her to pieces. And for those of y'all, I see I have 14 people online. So for those of y'all that don't know, she is my Goliath bird eating tarantula. She is actually going to outgrow this enclosure eventually. Um... She will get to be anywhere between 10 to 12 inches in diameter. So, yes, it was successful. I'm so happy it was, it was successful. So, I'm fixing to snap the top down on it. And I'm going to let her chill for a little while. I'm going to go put her up in the living room where she goes. And if y'all notice, this right here says leave closed. I'm going to have to snap it down. And that's just because, like, this snaps. And I don't want to snap and unsnap it too much because I feel like 
that would like weaken the integrity of that. So we're just going to make sure everything is snapped down really good. Everything is closed because y'all know my husband would have a complete fit if it wasn't. All right. Back to me for a second. Hi, guys. <laughs> thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, She is a Goliath bird eating tarantula. So she's going to get really huge. We're eventually going to have to upgrade from this enclosure. But this one should last her the next couple of years. Easy. So, but yeah, we got her into a new house because y'all, this little house that she was in, this one right here, she literally took up two thirds of it. Like it was insane. She could get in that egg and disappear like she did because whenever she would come out in this one and like spread out and stretch out and stuff, she was literally two thirds the size of this one. So that's why I really wanted to rehouse her. She hasn't been eating, so I thought she was fixing a molt. Tried to wait that out, but then I'm impatient. So, I gave her like two weeks. She didn't molt, so we rehoused her. She's going to be pissed off in there for a little bit. I'm going to wait till tomorrow before I try to feed her. So, tomorrow we'll go live and feed all the spider babies. So, I will see you guys then. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to go get her put up where she goes so she can calm down. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.